This is Project Zero for CS50W. Uh, step one, your website should have at least three pages. One for regular Google search, which must be called index.html. You can see that here. Uh, one for Google image search, pictured here. And one for Google advanced search, uh, pictured here. On the Google search page, there should be links in the upper right of the page to go to the image search and the advanced search, uh, which I just showed. And on each of the other two pages, there should be a link in the upper right to go back to Google search, which I also just showed. Okay, step two. On the Google search page, the user should be able to type in a query, click Google search, and then be taken to the Google search results for that page. Shown there. And then, like Google Zone, your search bar, search bar should be centered with rounded corners, and the search button should also be centered and should be beneath the search bar, which you can see. Okay, step three. On the Google image search page, the user should be able to type in a query, click a search button, and be taken to the Google, Google image search results for that page. Shown there. Okay, step four. On the advanced search page, the user should be able to provide input for the following four fields taken from Google's own advanced search options. Find pages with all these words, uh, this exact word or phrase, any of these words, and none of these words. And I'll demonstrate that now. So all of these words. Exact word or phrase, you see the quotes. Any of these words. None of these words. You see the minus. Okay. Step five, like Google's own advanced search page, the four options should be stacked vertically and all the text fields should be left aligned. You can see that here. Um, consistent with Google's own CSS, the advanced search button should be blue with white text. Um, it's blue with black text here because that's what Google's actually is. I took that right from their page. And then when the advanced search button is clicked, the user should be taken to the search results page for their given query, which um, I already showed. Step six, add an I'm feeling lucky button on the main Google search page. Consistent with Google's own behavior, clicking this link should take users directly to the first Google search result for their query, bypassing the normal results page. And then here you see the redirect notice, um, which is an expected consequence of a security feature implemented by Google. And then finally, step seven, the CSS you write should resemble Google's own aesthetics. Um, I came close to that. I, here you see the Google logo, and then I have a dark background um, to match what I see when I pull up google.com.